Hello everyone, it's Jennifer and thank you for joining me today. I am so excited about this unboxing. Every single month that I have unboxed the Treasure Edition from Potomac Beads, I have just been wowed by what is included in their subscription boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. This is for the month of June. And this is my sixth box. And uh, one of the uh, plans I have for this month is to use all of the leftovers from all of the pr prior boxes, put them all together and make up some projects do using those. So let's go ahead and open this up. And this is Nature Lover Treasure Subscription. Whether you collect shells from the beach, press and preserve leaves from nature walks, or admire the stunning iridescence of a dragonfly wing, this Nature Lover Treasure Box has something for you. Go ahead and visit the potomacbeads.com slash ideas for some, uh, for some ideas. And also too, what's included is they include these identification cards that are absolutely wonderful. I love them. Um, they also do um, mark each bag of what the contents are as well so that uh, you have a couple of different um, uh, ways to figure out what you are working with if you're not familiar with uh, the beads, which I'm not, I'm not a bead, um, I'm not bead intelligent. So, I mean, I know that this is a seed bead. I know that it's my Yuki, um, just based on the, um, based on the structure of the bead. And, uh, but as far as um, some different beads, I'm not familiar with. And this is how I learn. I learn by having these identification cards to tell me what those beads are so that over and over I can figure out um, what I'm working with. And I love it. So thank you, Potomac Beads. I'm gonna go ahead and get this over to the side. And so we will first look at the Mayuki Seed Beads. These are in seafoam lined crystals, size 10. These are beautiful. I love the colors. And again, if this is for nature lover, then um, this is just a beautiful color to start with. So we'll go ahead and put those off to the side. I have a feeling I'm looking at some different colors here. So I'm gonna pull them out. Um, just looking at the colors so you can see everything, how they all look together. Cause these boxes, I just, I absolutely love them and you get such a variety of um, beads and components. These are check faceted rounds. These are seafoam eight millimeter. Those are beautiful. Those are absolutely stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So pretty. And again, they go right along with that, with the theme. Okay, now we have, oh, we have some shell beads. You get three of them. And again, oh gosh, look at that color on the one side and then look at that color on the other. Wow, those are beautiful. So if you make an earring and you want the darker side to be what, you, what shows, then you can wire wrap or do whatever kind of wrapping you want and make sure that your ear wire is um, facing this way, or you can have this gorgeous color. Those are beautiful. You get three of those. And again, those go right along with all of the colors here. Okay. Those are beautiful beads. Then we have Potomac pearls. You know, we love Potomac pearls. These are two millimeter. These are inky dinky. They're beautiful. This is pastel green. You get a strand of those. It's an eight inch strand. Those are beautiful. Look at that. And look at with all these colors. So you see where everything's going so far. They're just so pretty. Oh, I love them. Okay, we'll put those back in their little home. Then we have some eight millimeter wood beads. And wood beads are really fun. You can, I mean, look at the size of the hole on those wood beads. You can actually add some leather in there. You can, I'm sure you can paint them. 
you can wrap them with some seed beads, do some seed bead wrapping around them, and maybe have, maybe not have all the seed, it covering the entire bead, and so you can have that natural color poking through. You can just leave them all natural. That would be gorgeous too. And again, you get a good, you get a good um, quantity of those. And then we have some posts. These are six millimeter, and these are stainless steel posts. So just grab your glue, and um, and you can make um, some post earrings with those. I love the findings and different um, components that they include in these boxes because some of them post earrings I don't have any so now I do so ex for example if you're new to the jewelry world this is a great box for you because you can get a lot of different components and start stash building then we have some check smooth rounds these are two millimeter crystal AB and they're just so pretty and just a good filler for different projects um, use them as spacer beads for necklace bracelet earrings beautiful I love them and again they're all sticking with that same theme that same color theme and is it not a Potomac beads treasure edition box without some bicones I love their crystal bicones so beautiful look at that color I love those, but I love their bicones. Their bicones are stunning. And again, you get so many. I don't know if it says, it doesn't say how many, but there's quite a bit in there. Then we have some pebble beads and these are six to eight millimeters. And those are gorgeous. And look at all of these beautiful colors. They all just go right together. All of them so stunning and these these are so much fun you can do so much with these and again I just want to take them and put them away and just look at them because they're so beautiful okay so then we have some of those here we go with a button we have a button and it is a pewter metal button love the buttons that gorgeous button. You can do a lot with this. It doesn't have to be used as a closure. You can use it as part of a focal. That's beautiful. Then we have some fossil shells and these are in pale turquoise. They're actually pretty dark for being pale turquoise, but they are beautiful. I love them. You get two, perfect for a pair of earrings. Then we have some metal dragonfly wings. These are gorgeous. I've never seen these before. I've seen the angel wings. Those are cool. I love them. If you wanna point them down, you can point them up. You can put them off to the side. Put a bead in between them, use them in a bracelet. Absolutely gorgeous. See, I love the little metal components that you get with these boxes. And again, this is a subscription box. And so for, for a subscription, it's $39.99 a month. However, though, you can select a few, there's a few different uh, subscription levels. You can be month by month. You can um, also go as far as annual. Your annual subscription cost is $29.99. So uh, you save $120 when you go ahead and sign up for the entire year. These are the little backings, the silicone backings for the ear wires. Thank you for including those. It's the little things, little touches. Also too, when you are a subscriber, when you are a subscriber, you also uh, will be part of um, the select customers that get first access to certain Potomac Beads products as well. Sometimes the only 
people that get access to particular Potomac Beads products. Then also too, I haven't seen the kit edition yet. Um, I've seen, the tre this is a treasure edition, so you take it and you design how you want. With the kit edition, the kit edition comes with two to three premium kits per month with the design. So then you also get the recipe of how to create your designs. So if you don't wanna come up with your own designs and you just wanna follow a pattern and and um, have everything that you need to make those uh, to make those projects, then the kit edition is your route as well. Some people do both. Some people do both. These are beautiful. These are copper nugget beads. I love the copper. Look at the copper with these colors. So gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely love it. And also too, as a uh, for, as far as the kit edition, those kits are only available by subscription. So you won't find the kits from the subscription boxes in the uh, on the website. Again, you get a really good amount of those spacers there. Then we have a wood bezel. Ooh, this is pretty, and it comes with the with the pinch bail. That is gorgeous. You can either have it on the side with just being flat, or you can actually fill it in with something. You could take maybe some of those smaller beads. You got these here. Maybe you could take some smaller beads and glue them in. Just maybe on the outside. Maybe do outside, and then you could do a different color on the inside. Those are gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And what else with all the subscriptions? The golden tickets. So what Potomac Beads, what they do is they have five golden tickets for the treasure box, five golden tickets for the kit edition. Then they take five random boxes and throw in a golden ticket. And when you receive your box, and if you have a golden ticket, when you open up your box, you get some goodies from Potomac Beads. If you're a subscriber to both, then you double your chances. Here are some check leafs, and this is a full strand. Oh, I love these. These are so pretty. I could just string these all up. These are gorgeous. So then they're side drilled. Oh, with that silver, there's like a silver finish. It looks like a little bit of copper in there too. These are stunning. I love the colors. So here's what you get with your box. You get some leaf beads, you get some spacers, you get some bike cones, you get some seed beads, gorgeous fossil beads. You get a bezel, you get some little rounds, you get some silicone backs, you get a button, you get some wings, you get some ear, ear earring posts, some wood beads, some Potomac pearls, some faceted, uh, some faceted um, beads. Then you also get some shell beads and you get your coins. These are, oh, pebble, you get pebble beads. That's what you get. Isn't that gorgeous? So please like this video. Wait a minute. I think we're going to do a bonus design right here and now. So stick around if you want to see what I make first with this bead box. We are back. I took two rounds of my large uh, German style wire spool, and this is 22 gauge. I'm gonna use a 22 gauge for this. I'm not making simple loops. I am going to actually make um, wrap loops. And I'm gonna use the bicones and some of these little two millimeter rounds. And I am gonna pull from last month and use some of this gorgeous chain. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is um, make a necklace and have them in sections. And I think I did this. I feel like I just did this, but um, I'm going to go ahead and do that again because I am going to um, wire wrap directly on to the uh, chain. And this is the chain from 
the May box, the May Treasure Edition box, and the Mother May I. And this is 99.9% .9 silver plated, and it is closed links. I love closed links. I know that you waste when you have to cut them down, but, and I'm going to waste quite a bit, um, cutting into small links, but it will actually um, turn out really cute. And I'm okay with the waste. All right, so I'm going to basically be working from spool to minimize waste on my wire. And what I thought I would do is just go all the way around. And I'm just going to pull some from here and here. And let's go ahead and break this off. Being careful not to damage a bead. And it's wrapped around there. So let's see if I can get it cut enough to get it unraveled. There we go. And then I'll have to, the little piece is in there somewhere. And I'll have to grab it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it in there. So I'll be sure not to use that one until I get that up. So then what I thought of doing was just blending this here, whether it be, well, we'll see what it looks like. Let's see if we can do one and then a bicone. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. That's cute. Let's see if we add another. And that's cute. I think I like the two, just to give it a little bit more. And so what we're gonna do is try and get that out of the way. We're gonna be using four different tools. We're gonna have round nose pliers, we're gonna have chain nose pliers, we're gonna have flesh cutters, and then we're gonna have, I like using bit chain nose pliers when I'm doing my wraps. So we are going to be using those. And the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and give it that 90 degree angle bend. I don't need much of a tail because this is 22 gauge and so it doesn't um, it doesn't take up as much room and I try to make it about there. So I'm just taking so I have my palm facing me and I just take that top wire and put and, and run it over the top of the barrel. Then I rotate my wrist and now my wrist is facing the table. And then I push that to the back and then get that a little evened up so that we have a nice um, lollipop rather than a pea. Then I'm gonna just open this up a little bit. You can use your hands, your fingers. Um, you can do that, but I just have a tendency to always um, kind of ruin the actual loop when I do that because I just get a little too rough. And then let's come in and close it off. Go ahead and put your the tip of your chain nose pliers over your loop carefully and then just lock that in place so now you can kind of get your, your chain nose pliers a little um, situated. Come in with your, I'm using bent chain nose pliers, you can use anything you wish. If you don't have bent chain nose pliers, you can also grab, grab your round nose pliers. If these are the only tools that you have, just go ahead and use what you have and make it work. Okay, and I'm gonna go around three times, go around to the back, and then I'm gonna come around the back, right here, and just give it a little bit of a trim and cover it up when you trim. Then what I like to do is I like to tuck in that little tail that sticks out, the little kind of nubby that sticks out a little bit. And then I just like to tuck that in so it doesn't stab anybody. Okay, then we go ahead and bring that to the bottom, just like so. All right, so let me see how many links I want. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's keep it even and just do ten. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna come in and go ahead and do that. I guess, maybe. And it went flying. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut more um, little 10 link um, pieces of chain and then we will come in and um, continue on. I will show a few more loops and then we'll finish it off. This should be an easy project or a quick project, at least on video. It just might take a while to do it um, in your home, but we will just do a few passes through and then we'll finish it off. I have all my links. This is gonna give me, this right here is about two and a half inches. So I figured that if I cut up enough here, I wanna try and make it about 15 inches so that when I put the lobster clasp and the um, ring on the end, then it will be probably hopefully around 15 and a half. We are back to our last link. So this is what it's looking like so far. I just love all these colors, so pretty. It's just very pretty. And we're gonna do one last link and I had exactly, this is exactly what I have left over and what I'm going to need. So let's go ahead and give it that bend. I need to be very careful because it's very close to the end and I wanna have enough. And go ahead and get that and get that looking straight. There we go. Let's go ahead and open up. And something to always remember too, you're always adding something to your wrap loop. So no matter what, you're always adding chain to your wire wrap loop. Just keep that in mind when you're doing this. And lock, lock that in place. I had to learn that from Kelly, Kelly Sutton. I had to learn that from her because she's who I learned my wire wraps from. And I've never strayed away from how I learned with her. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and come around the back and give it the trim. There's my pile of scraps. Not too bad, not too bad. Be sure to get that tucked in because it will um, stick out and then go ahead and let's do this and let's do that and you know what I did do a necklace just like this and I recorded it maybe that's why it's just stuck in my head I'm not sure which one's gonna post first it all depends on YouTube and my posting the upload and I have heard from a couple other subscribers that I have that also do videos that have said that over the last couple months, theirs have uploaded pretty slowly too. And uh, like myself, they've contacted their, a, their internet provider and I'm told I got the fastest I can get. And we have AT&T. All right, so let's go ahead and get that down. Get that locked in and so um, maybe it is it can't be the area because one of my subscribers is in Australia and she experienced the same thing so what I have to do is I have to start the upload then I have to delete it because it gets stuck like at 13% okay then I start it again and then it gets stuck at like 35 and then I have to start it again. Sometimes I have to delete and start three times. All right, so we're done. And let's see how long this is. With our Fandy Dandy Potomac Beads Tape measure, here's the deal, this came in a one of the boxes and I didn't have one. And so this is perfect for me. All right, so we are at 16, a little over 16. So we'll end up being about 16 and a half, which that's fine. So I have my, that, let me grab a big, a big jump ring. If 
for the clasp. And I know I'm using an open one, but this one's really good. These are good jump rings, really good jump rings. All right, so let's open up. Oh, let's hope it goes through there. I should have tested that first. Yay, it went through. All right, and then let's go ahead and close it up. And it locked in place. Did you guys hear that? Okay, so now let's go ahead and here. My smaller jump rings are less than desirable. They're just not, I don't know. Oh, I heard it unlock, so maybe these are good ones. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put on a lobster clasp. Be sure to check your lobster clasp before you start putting on too, especially if you're gonna sell it. Okay, yeah, see these are just a little off. I have to kind of smush them to get them nice and even. Oh, those are good. All right, so here we go. We have a beautiful like 16 and a half inch bracelet or necklace and super, super, super cute. And I'm super excited about it. And again, I mean, I said bracelet. If you if you have a large enough wrist, you can, like me, I would, I would double it up and do that because I can have it sit up here. But this is meant as a choker for me and I absolutely love it. Again, we use the little two millimeter rounds and some of those bicones and some of the chain from last month's. And I have three extras, so I'm gonna use that in another project. And so I ended up using, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight links. And then these are components, wrapped components. And then each um, section here is 10. And it ends up being about 16 and a half inches long. All right, so please give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it and comment. I love to see what everybody has to say and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.